the Wapishana phonology, courtesy of Wapishana Scholar's Dictionary, used for this video in order to provide as close a representation of the Wapishana sounds as can be derived. Of course, they are heavily guided by English and Portuguese orthography and spelling. So, bearing that in mind, let's learn the consonants and vowels of Wapishana. The character A for A is like in English again, Shakatan or A as in Sabão in Portuguese, Paraco, and there's also a long sound with A, Abapan. And so this character can be used either short, long, or nasalized. B, however, is an implosive, sucked in B, B, Kabutan, Kabutan, uh, not found in English. Chapiki, 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 as in chain in English. There's two D sounds. The first one is the implosive do, kododo, kododo, and then there's the almost like a fricative, tip dental fricative, the or do the, pinidi pinidi, um, sometimes spelled with a D or a DH in some older pronunciation guides. G, Pugaru, as in good old English good. E, another vowel sound, uh, high front E, as in machine in English, pinidi, can be lengthened, as in Aiji, or also can be nasalized. The itipan, which is also a long sound and a nasal sound. The itipan, the itipan. Um, in some old forms, it is. Uh, a vowel can be followed by an N to indicate nasalization, as in C in Portuguese. Wapishana consonants palatalize also after E or E. Thus, Ikawan is pronounced Ikawan. Idaan, Idaan, or just Jaan. Exceptions are, of course, SH, CH, and R, R, which are inherently palatalized. Ka, kidaukan, as in kick, kick in English, kida, kidaukan. Wapishana K is labialized after O. Okwa, okwaan, okwawan, okwawan. And Tokwan M, Makon, as in English moon. Letters made with the lips M, B, B, W usually change the quality of an A or E, as in English men. So A, A becomes A, like Kaiman, Kaiman, uh, Kaimin. Chikaribai is pronounced Chikiribai. Chikiribai. Becoming that 
kind of so there's a motion um, of distinction that uh, carries out and applies these uh, these mm, changes of sound bringing a vowel forward and front and high to write in these extra sounds would be redundant and unnecessary according to the dictionary here in naran again an n is distinct from a nasal vowel uh, so vowels have nasalization can have nasalization in distinction from being connected or being um, in the same environment as a noun and that's been shown pretty effectively naran o the third vowel that is used actually it's a back rounded vowel and it could it almost goes as far back as u for do do o o um it's a it's it's a range there it's a back rounded range murutan and it can be uh, lengthened uh, also in some cases uh, that would in that would be realized as podan, podan, poda, and then of course nasalized ogaru, ongeru, ongeru. P just a uh, bilabial. Papiai, papai, papiai. R, there's two R's. There's one that's a simple flap, like R, Brasileiro, and then R, Maroro, and then there's um, almost like an English R with the uh, with the cupping of the tongue and a retroflexing, but it's formed with as a fricative, and so it becomes ja, ja, jamijin, jamajin. Um, somewhere between an R and a Z. S is so, so, a simple. A uh, simple whistled um, fricative. SH, um, they use the digraph S and H um, to represent that one sound, sh, shakatan, just as in should. Um, and the X, wapishana, in, in Portuguese. Ta is um, a simple, clean tarian, as in English take or um, tocar in Portuguese. U is actually um, not the O and the U. As I said before, the O represents a back rounded vowel. It could be U any, anywhere in that range, but the the character that uses the U is actually U. It's like the French Y uh, or um, or the Guarani Ewapu. Uh, it's a central high vowel um, that's unrounded somewhere between a high I and a high U. It's U. It also can be um, lengthened, of course, and can be nasalized. Anuka. Uh, um, the U can be um, 
consonantalized and used as a consonant. Wado. Y is y, y, yawari, as in English. Y. The last one is indicated by an apostrophe, but it's a glottal stop. Ah, o, oh. naiki. Uh, and so there's a hard stop made in the throat uh, to indicate there. Um, and this is used also in. Wapishana. Other things, unstressed vowels in spoken Wapishana are usually quiet or dropped altogether. The O in Aro can barely be heard. Ar. In Kizi, uh, the sounds like Kiz, unless something follows the vowel, as in Kizi I, Na, then Tukapa. Um, changes its stress and sounds like tukapan, but it's still written tukapa. Or tukpan, sorry, tukpan. When tukapa changes its stress, it sounds like tuk, tukpan. Wapishana always stresses the last syllable in a word that ends in a long vowel or a consonant. The word makon is stressed makon, since kon ends with a consonant n. So syllables have this template that requires it to have an initial consonant, a vowel, and a final consonant. And if that is violated, if it's simply a consonant vowel with no final consonant, or if it's simply a vowel in um, forming a consonant, then it, it doesn't carry stress. The stress then moves forward to the next um, previous to the previous consonant. So mako is stressed mako, since the final ko has only a short vowel. However, when the long i, o, u vowels u are stressed, then they turn into like i, ua or ua, respectively. These, thus, arupan becomes aruopan when the n is re, re, removed and the stress falls on the long vowel. Aruapa, aruapa. So this is um, the explanation for pronunciation have a few notes from Manuel dos Santos Gomez in his Phonologia and his um, thesis of 2006 indicating there um, the difference between the A ah and the barred E. Denage and denuge is um, meat or carne. Denuge is leite, milk. At and it um, one is for, um, one is a particle for, to indicate the dative, dativo. Another is a particle to ind indicate the ablative, alativo. Um, lengthening, e, u, and u, uh, are three different words. E E is a in. Uh, U is nome is your name, and U is sin. It's a scent or agreement. Uh, Santos also indicates that um, there are diphthongs included in the language uh, of the vowels. I. Um, like bai for for a duck, patu. Ipyoi uh, is everybody. Tudu. Kabain kabain is a house. It comes from the word cabana. It's borrowed from cabana in Spanish. Kabain. Um, Auna uh, is their negative no. Auna. Auna, 
Kanij uh, is a song. Du, du is sal, salt. Udu is um, gaushu is um, the finger of your hand. Dedo de mão. Kudui. Uh, ui, ui, kudui, um, anta, and dunui, as in cidade or city. Dun, dunui, dunui. You can tell that these are diphthongs because even though as they end, um, like the the last one there, number under number eighteen, it ends a cons uh, ends a syllable, but the stress um, it it gives it lengthening to that and and allows the stress to remain there on that last syllable. Thus concludes our explanation of Wapishana pronunciation.